The chain of bad decisions that began with Neon getting involved with this 304 has finally drawn to a close. Neon and his OF girlfriend Sam Frank have broken up and it's come out that she probably cheated on him. So for those of you who are fortunate enough not to know, Neon is a 19 year old streamer who basically just screams at people and younger Zoomers and Gen Alpha think that's entertainment. That's really Neon's whole thing. He screams, he's abrasive, and probably a lot of his following is just people who hate him. But either way, with a lot of young people, he's still incredibly popular. And by others, especially here on YouTube, he's widely seen as representing everything that's wrong with streamers and influencers and internet culture promoting bad behavior. Neon's relationship with Sam was first really publicly scrutinized on the Fresh and Fit podcast where the host, Myron, kind of noticed the difference in the perceived social status and sexual market value of Neon and his new girlfriend, Sam. So you said earlier that one of the things that you uh, like about Neon is that he's uncorrupted. Do you think that it's a fair deal for someone like him that's uncorrupted to be with someone like you that is corrupted? I think fair is the wrong term, but I think it's appropriate. Why would it not be? Well, do you think he's getting a fair deal back? A fair deal? What does that mean? Well, typically in a relationship, uh, there's a benefit to both parties, right? So, yeah. for example, in your case, you're saying you like his personality, he's uncorrupted, blah, blah, blah. You know, and men tend to want women that are not corrupted either. Do you think it's a fair deal that someone like him that's uncorrupted is dealing with someone like you who I would argue is corrupted? Mm, I think it's fair if that's what he wants. <laughs> What if he doesn't know what he wants because he's 19 years old? Yeah. Well, I'm basically the same age as him, so then it's fairly rulable that I don't know what I want either. Well, you're older than him, and you have more experience with opposite gender. And you have sex. I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> and, and you're not a virgin. Okay. So you clearly have more... What's your favorite position? <laughs> Sorry. You have more wisdom than him in this in this regard. That's fine. Um, I think it's fair. I don't... If he knows what he wants, good for him. I think he's over the, well over the age to decide what he wants. This clip made me feel that their relationship was supposed to be basically a joke because the energy was so weird throughout the whole interaction and Neon was just totally sitting back as Sam defended their relationship. It seemed absurd to me. It seemed like it was obviously a farce, but apparently they were actually trying to pass this off as a real relationship on Fresh and Fit. Myron, the host of Fresh and Fit, is already antagonizing her by asking her whether or not her intentions are pure in being with Neon, and Neon dogpiles on this humiliation by asking her what her favorite position is. Do you think she's worth taking seriously? Yeah. I think so. You think so? <laughs> or you know so? Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I feel like you guys are trying to take advantage of his situation more, because it seems like I'm so definite about what I want, and then when he answers, he's like... You think we're trying to take advantage? We, we, not us. I, mean, I would argue. I'm it's, I, I would argue it's you that's trying to take advantage. <laughs> okay, well you can argue that, but regardless, he does ask me to come on his streams, and I don't beg him to be on his streams. I tell him if he wants me to be there, I'll be there. Well, let's see here. Who has more to gain, you or him? Ooh. I think we both have. No, you a have lot far to more gain. to gain. Why you just answered your own question? Why why would you think that then? It was a rhetorical question, to be honest. But like you have way more to gain. He has a bigger following than you. His audience is mostly young men. That is the audience that you're trying to recruit he, over to your Neon only fans. Neon has one of the best engage, the best engaging community. Thank you for proving my by point. Yeah, far. And I realized that I didn't know that when I first Thanks met for him. My point. Or for a while. Shout you out do realize you're helping out, right? Well, my that's argument. Cool. I don't care. I, you can. Uh, I'm not trying to like. So this is clearly a predatory relationship. You have this woman who is experienced and knowledgeable in the ways of the world, attaching herself to this, for lack of a better term, dweeb-looking kid, Neon, in hopes that she can siphon off some of his fan base and get them to subscribe to her OnlyFans. And the reason that Neon is like on the fence and not actually doing anything with her, you know, not even, I don't even know that they'd kissed at this point, um, and he's still a virgin, uh, so far as anyone knows, after they've broken up now, is because he's a devout Muslim and he didn't believe in, in sex before marriage. Now, in the Old Testament, there's no specific punishment for a man having premarital sex unless it's with a virgin. But nonetheless, this is still something that Neon thought was wrong. And in associating with this loose woman, this 304, who's for the streets, he compromised his values to be with her. So through his desperation, he ends up becoming an OnlyFans peddler. 
And just socially speaking, if this were still high school, and it very nearly is because Neon is 19 and Sam is 20, they would be at totally opposite ends of the food chain. Socially speaking, Sam would have nothing to do with Neon. And part of the reason this is the case is because even though Neon has this big following and financially he could probably provide for Sam until they're old people, because I'm sure he's super rich being a streamer now, is because he is a weak person. He's not only a scrawny guy, which is not the type of guy Sam is into. She likes buff guys, and I'll show you evidence of that later if you, you know, aren't <laughs> aren't already just willing to take my word for it. But um, he's a scrawny guy, and he's also craven. He's cowardly. He's not willing to establish boundaries. And if he had defended her more here on this stream, uh, he'd still be a simp and she'd still be using him. But it would have been something. Something, anything at all, would have been better than what we see between Sam and Neon. What I'm trying to say is that what I think, and I'm just going to... I think it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Absolutely, no, no, me. no, it's not. Um, I'm just going to keep it a million here. You have everything to gain from being in a relationship with him. And for you, it's a W because you don't have to fuck him. You don't have to necessarily show him intimacy. <laughs> Wait, you don't have to. Wait, huh? you're able I to, never thought about it like you're, that. You're able to kind of have this weird pseudo friendship with him while simultaneously being able to siphon off his audience, monetize his audience, and continue to live your lifestyle and probably more than likely see other men. And we're really going to see how true that see other men comment is here because this up on the screen right now is the type of guy Sam likes. And this man looks, uh, this type of man looks nothing like Neon at all. And Sam's preferences were clear before she was even in a relationship with him. Okay, so kiss or slap? Slap. No kiss? Fuck no. Yeah, that looked like a little bit more than a slap then, didn't it? And Sam is also engaged in some pretty questionable behavior while they were in a relationship. You, can't, you said it, and you got a boyfriend. I can't be doing that. No, this is a friendly conversation. Park your sis and park your yeah. Chris. I love yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Say this. That's the worst thing I've done, right? That you guys are like, oh my god, she cheated. Like that's the worst thing I've done. Not even cheating, by the way. How is that comparable to every single thing that he's done? That yeah, y'all encourage, first of all. So I don't want to hear shit. I'm not. I'm literally not taking any of your comments to heart. Cause you know what? It's my relationship, and it's not fucking yours. And this is what happens as a man. When you associate with a bad woman and she reflects badly on you, it tarnishes your name. It tarnishes your reputation. It tarnishes your social standing, which is part of what attracts a woman to you in the first place. It's a self-defeating situation. And this isn't the only way that Neon has gotten himself humiliated through associating with this 304. All right, well, come here, look at this. Yeah. I came here to get Sam's signatures. Oh my God. Yo, whoa. Fool. Oh, my God. I bro oh, you're a fool. <laughs> Yo, you're crazy. It's a oh, you're crazy. <laughs> That's on you. That's on you. What's going to happen, bro? I don't know. No, no, His security is going to me. I love black. You know that. Yo. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, not really shit. Nice to see you, bro. Enter Vitaly TV, a man who is bound and determined to make Neon's life a whole lot worse. This is one reason why you just don't mess with Russians generally, but uh, let's go and see what Vitaly has in store for Neon. What's up, baby? What's up? Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. Hey, yeah, check this out. I came to get Sam's signatures. <laughs> Dude, no way! Bro, there's a reason he's a goat, bro! He's been the goat! Bro. You like that? <laughs> let's go, let's go. We gotta Should I start with this one? Chat, chat. Let me ask the chat. Chat, which picture should I do? One, two, and three. Which picture should I make your sign first? I want you to remember this moment and Vitaly's smiling Slavic face. Anytime anyone ever tells you that a girl's past doesn't matter or the fact that she does OnlyFans doesn't matter. Is it good now? This is the perfect time. Hit it, bro. Hit it. Can I get an autograph? Oh. Yeah, you know who this is. Oh. Look at 
how Neon just stands there and smiles for a solid six seconds before Sam steps in. Hey, can I get an autograph of your girl's naked body as I just scroll through these photos of her that are available to literally anyone with, I guess, just the ability to make an account because this is for free. I don't even know what kind of business model she's running here. I'm sure people who are subscribed are giving her plenty of gifts or something, or it's tiered in some way because I remember her giving Neon like a $10,000 or $20,000 watch or something crazy like that. I don't have to pay you shit. Why would you pay me? That's a gift from me to you. <laughs> Who just gives someone 20k worth of- Let's wear that shirt. You no, I like the shirt, but what the fuck? Because it, it, it a, has a significant meaning, honestly. It's a milestone kind of thing. You deserve it. Damn. Bro. Oh, this is, you never, got him a spade? I, this is the biggest gift I've ever got in my life. Really? Yeah, I swear to God. Would you actually, will you actually wear it? Because I, I'm, not I take, want I'm not taking it off. Really? You have to take it off in the shower. No, no, I don't. It's fine. Oh. I just like, I don't know. I, so just, I never want you to think like I'm using you or anything like that ever. Because I hope you, like, I feel like no one else has ever been in our shoes. And like, they understand like, we've been through, we've been through a lot so far. Like, I know there's mad people here, but like, we've been through a lot so far. And like, this is my token of appreciation to you. Because I appreciate you and everything you've done for me. Damn. For no, it's oh, okay, thank Damn. you. Can I get another hug? Yeah, please. Thank you so much. Actually, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Oh. Will you take me back? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I will freak out now. I'll freak out later. Thank you. But it's just, it's just, the point is this is just shameful. Like you should not be in a relationship where literally anyone can see her naked body for free. But let's continue. What's wrong with you? What's up? What the with you. Nothing. I wanted to get an autograph. Do you have a problem? No, the two plus two is four. Do you want You're a grown, a fucking you know crazy? You're a grown ass man doing this. Oh yeah, get so what? You're a fucking Indian twin. You're an Indian twin, bro. You're a fucking Indian twin. Come on, let me suck your fucking dick, bro. Yeah, what's up? What's up, my boy? I'm not gonna touch your boy. I'm 19 years old. You're a f I wanted your autograph. I'm a fan. I'm a fan, bro. I want to get an autograph, bro. What the fuck did I do? See, the only recourse Neon can think of after six very long seconds is just to go, oh, you're too old to be doing this and posture like he's some sort of tough guy. Even though he knows, and Sam knows because she was the first one to step in to defend herself, that if he actually had to step to Vitaly, he'd get pulverized. And it's not simply that he would lose in a physical confrontation with Vitaly that's the problem here. It's that he is, like, just unwilling to even engage. There isn't even a part of him that actually wants to fight Vitaly for doing this. There's no like flicker of anger or outrage on his part from Vitaly showing him flipping through that clipboard of Sam's pictures. He's already broken. Neon is already a broken man. If Sam hadn't been there, he probably would have continued smiling like an idiot. And I'm not saying that you should get into fights you can't win just to prove a point for no reason. But honestly, in this situation, I think it would have been better if Neon had actually tried stepping to Vitaly. There's a certain point as a man where even if you know you're going to lose and it's going to be bad, once that line is crossed, that line is crossed. And don't get me wrong, Sam Frank is definitely not the sort of girl who deserves a man who would defend her honor because she has none. She's an OnlyFans girl. But this relationship with Sam Frank is the horse that Neon has hitched his chassis to, so to speak. He got himself into this situation and he's not even willing to stand by it. Do him all the favor and go Why are you so hurt, bro? You're a loser. I'm a loser? Damn, you're hurt. You're hurt, bro. You're hurt. Oh. We kiss now. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, bro. Double you, Vitaly, bro. I know. Bro, oh, I just wanted an autograph, bro. Bro, the, her spit is actually hot. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, he's, he's dating that. Right? Insane, bro. I'm sorry, King Vitaly. Thank I'm you. I'm so sorry, sir. Thank you. Literally apologizing to him on pain of arrest for spitting in his face. It cannot get any more humiliating than this. But the humiliation of this relationship really culminated in Neon having to go get surgery. And while Neon is in surgery, 
Sam Frank is going on a ski trip with a bunch of guys. OnlyFans star. Damn. Little boy. How'd you know OnlyFans? How'd you know? Uh, how'd, you know? How'd, you know? How'd, you know? how'd you know? How'd you know? I'm gonna tell you guys. Oh, really? Outside, how so did we're you gonna know? eat. That at least appears to be the straw that broke the camel's back, according to these unofficial official text messages, which no one has come out to deny are real, so they're apparently not fake. Now to summarize, because those text messages were so blurry, Neon is basically saying that this is a violation of his trust, and obviously the trip looks very bad. He didn't even know that there would be this many guys with her on the trip. He really didn't know what was going on or what was happening. And then Sam, like the typical modern woman that she is, is taking no accountability and just blaming him for the whole thing. Just saying he's digging at her pain or something. You're on a ski trip with guys where you're the only girl while your boyfriend's in surgery. Have some common sense. Have a sense of decency or respect. But no, that's not the type of woman Sam Frank is. And then almost immediately after that, Neon drops this video. It is what it is, man. I mean, it was, ex it was expected, so it was expected. You guys can say what you want in the chat. I don't care. Um, I don't give a fuck what the chat says, so it is what it is. Um, all good things come to an end, so, you know, um, I didn't expect it. I don't think anyone really did. You know, it was something that just didn't work out, I guess, wrong place, wrong time. I don't know what it is, but everything happens for a reason, and... Yeah, y'all can call me a loser or anything, but I genuinely still love her a lot, so. First of all, this was not a good thing, even though it ended. It was a trash can fire when it started, and it's a train wreck now that it's finished. Also, is anyone watching this video and seeing the way she hugs him, and just thinking that it's not really the way you hug someone you love, just seeing the lack of love in the hug, or am I crazy? You know, like, it, it looks like she's just hugging this child. You know, it looks like she doesn't take him seriously. Like, oh, that's so sweet. I love you platonically as a friend. This was just a complete mess, and because of his foolishness, Neon has had to learn the hard way about how relationships work. Instead of dating some nerdy wallflower Indian girl who's fine with doing math problems over in the corner by herself, he had to go with Sam. And these are the consequences. This little episode here should stand as a lesson for men not to get involved with women like this, because a woman who is willing to sell her body online is out of control, is totally out of control and should not be associated with. It's not some morally neutral choice that happens in a vacuum or is perfectly fine and empowering that she's making money off of her body. If a woman does this, it's because she is a low quality human being. She has low moral standards. She is a bad person. I don't know what more proof some people need, but here it is. This guy got humiliated, steamrolled, exposed his audience to this 304, and for what? Maybe a couple more clicks at most? So some jerk like me can talk about him? And I even would question how useful that is, because I doubt I would will I'd be willing to bet money that no one in my audience is now going to follow and subscribe to Neon on Kick because I talked about him. So this was a net loss for him. Anyway, that's it for this video. Stay strong, keep your boundaries, hold the line, and Red Channels will catch you in the next one.